Now, once in a while, you may have the need to create a copy of an existing world. And this is what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to look at how to create a copy of a game that you're currently playing, or even reinstate a backup save. And we're also going to look at how to get back to the world before Embark. So the easy thing first is how to create a copy of an existing world with the dwarves that are existing in it. Now I have my starter pack set so that I have backup saves switched on. That means I have an awful lot of save games. Every quarter my game is saving. So if we go to whichever folder you have your games in, and go to the version that you want to play then in the data folder you'll find a save folder and here are all your save games now if you don't have backup saves on what you should see is just each individual game so current is always empty but then region one is the latest version of region one region two the latest version of region two same with region three all of these here are just the backups so the 15th of the first 156 is when we first arrived and then each of these is the seasonal autosave that was taken so to make a copy of the world Let's say we wanted to take a copy of the world that I've been using for my basic tutorial series and we wanted to take a copy of it in its current state. What you do is copy and paste. Now I usually use control V but you can't see me doing that so I'll do it with the mouse. I just take a minute to copy that and now we will need to rename this and i'm gonna call it region we'll just call it region test there we go so now if we play the game just zoom in so you can see this a bit better and go for continue playing and we can see at the bottom there is region test which is a copy of region three you can see by the year numbers that they're the same so if we open up region test now and it opens up where region 3 would be in the current game. Let's do something to prove it to be the case. Let's say we shall jump up to the surface and we'll save the game there. So not a significant change, but something that we should be able to detect. If we go continue playing and look at region 3 now, this is our original save game. We can see that opens up where it was that game hasn't been touched. Okay, but what if we want to get all of the way back to embark? What if we wanted to re-embark in the world? What we'd need to do then is to create the world gen files. Now I can do this using my region test, which is quite useful. So what we're going to have to do is go into region test because I want to get back to the world gen file of my tutorial world. And now what I'm going to do is to retire the fortress. Yep, really retire. And that's a yes. Right, now I can start playing in the region test world. And this time we want to go to legends. And now we want to go to P, export map and gen info. Now if we go back to the Dwarfs folder and go back to the version number and have a look down to the region. Here we go. So region test, we now have the world gen parameters and a whole bunch of other things as well. Now you don't need to take a copy of your existing world to do this. You can use your existing world as it is, retire it and then control alt delete to crash out of it. Now we need to get that world back in. So I'm going to quit out of Dwarf Fortress and go back to the save file. 
I'm going to go to the text file for the region test world gen parameters. Open it up and it looks like this. And then we're going to copy all of that. And control C for copy. And then scroll back up and we go to data in it and the world gen text file. And then we'll go, we'll add it down to the bottom. I've got quite a lot of world gens down here. Now I would like to give it a name. Instead of create world now, I'm going to call this world, see it was called the realms of wonder. And it was a wild world. So we'll call it the realms of wonder wild. Oh yeah, and we don't actually need that number on the end. Okay. And save. Close. And then we'll fire up Dwarf Fortress again. And now we want to design new world with advanced parameters escape and I have quite a lot of things stored under here but down at the bottom there you see realms of wonder wild so let's whiz down to there and enter to use and here we go we're recreating that world it'll have exactly the same topography and exactly the same minerals all the Water will be in the same place, the mountains in the same place. However, there might be differences in the civilizations and the beasts that are created. Because we've left a certain amount of randomness in there. But now we'll be able to restart in exactly the same embark area as we embarked on before. And we'll be able to replay that embark without having to reclaim a half-built fortress in that place. And using the Design New World with Advanced Parameters, you'll now be able to regenerate this world and go back to the same embark as many times as you want, without having to retire your existing fortress. They'll all be completely separate worlds from each other, just identical in their topography. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.